This is your daily devotion for April 3rd. This week we've been talking about love. We've talked about God's love for us, our love for God, our love for others, including family and even those we might call our enemies. Today we're going to talk about uh, a love that I imagine most of us probably don't think about very often. And that's God the Father's love for his son, Jesus Christ. We've talked about love for family. That's something we all uh, intuitively understand how strong that love is. Well, imagine the relationship of God the Father and God the Son has existed forever, without beginning, without end, which gives you a little bit of an understanding of how strong that love must be. We certainly have examples in scripture of, of that love being expressed uh, in two very o important occasions in Jesus' life. God the Father expressed his, his love both at Jesus' baptism and at his transfiguration. Uh, the Father announced to those who could hear, this is my son whom I love. The scripture that we're going to look at today uh, from John chapter 10 is Jesus explaining to us, giving to us a reason why the Father loves the Son. John 10, verse 17. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life so that I may take it up again. The reason the Father loves the Son is because the Son lays down his life for you, and for me. Even when the topic is the Father loving the Son, it's really about how much God loves us. Uh, if you need further evidence of how much God loves you, well, this is it. God's love uh, for the Son is based on how the Son is willing to do what needs to be done to save us. That's how powerful God's love is for you and for me. We can't hear this too much. God's love for us. It's, it's what we need to hear because our world is, is often so lacking in love. It's what we need to hear because deep down we know we don't deserve God's love. It's what we need to hear because God's love is the only thing that can save us. It's the only thing that has saved us. That love is so powerful that it even causes the Father to love the Son because of how the Son loves us. Let's pray. Father, you have told us that you love your Son because he's willing, was willing, and did sacrifice uh, himself for us. Help us to see that that, that is, is such powerful evidence of your love for us. And we also today uh, pray for St. John member Jim Julian. Jim has been dealing with uh, kidney stones for a couple days here. And as of about 20 minutes ago, um, he, was, he was going uh, into the ER. Uh, it got worse overnight. Uh, so we pray for Jim. Dear Jesus, our, our good shepherd who is willing to lay down your life for us, the sheep, uh, we know and trust uh, that you are also taking care of and protecting Jim. Relieve his pain. Bless the, the medical means employed on his behalf. And, and Lord, please protect him from getting exposed uh, to the coronavirus while he is seeking treatment. Amen. Your uh, moment of joy today uh, is something that we recently received at Divinity. Uh, one of our members uh, just donated a huge TV um, to go down where we usually have Bible class to replace the screen. Uh, it'll have much clearer, brighter picture uh, for our Bible studies. So uh, we're certainly thankful for that. And then your other moment of joy today um, has to do with my daughter Madison. A number of you have asked about Madison. She's on day 17 or 18 now of uh, being quarantined with COVID-19 symptoms. We've tried more than once 
to get her tested. Just a couple days ago, we tried again, and we're told that they will only test people who they think their symptoms are so bad they need to be in ICU. That's not really a moment of joy, uh, but I'm getting to it. Um, her employer, Madison's a CNA, her employer called her today and told her she had to get a doctor's note. Um, we have been told that doctors aren't writing notes right now, which I don't quite know how to explain that. But uh, Madison and her mother uh, went to urgent care today, and uh, mom had to, to stand up for daughter a bit and, and get a little aggressive. Uh, but they finally did uh, see Madison, and um, the still won't give her a test. But the doctor did write her a note uh, saying that she has either COVID-19 or influenza or both. Again, uh, not a lot of good news other than Madison getting that note. But the good news is uh, they did take an x-ray of her lungs and her lungs look, look good, which is probably what we were most concerned about. Um, so we're thankful for that uh, moment of joy. Um, one announcement uh, because next week is Holy Week, uh, we will, uh, and we are going to try to record Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter services. Um, I'm not going to be able to do any video devotions next week. It's just That would just be uh, too much on my plate. Um, I'm going to focus on those Holy Week services, uh, but then the video devotions will come back uh, the week after Easter. Um, I appreciate how you've been watching and how you've been letting me know that you're watching. Have a wonderful weekend.